Dogs. Dogs, 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 dogs. They're all dogs, they know they're dogs, and they recognize each other as dogs. Dogs are the most varied mammal species on the planet, but they can all procreate with each other. They often try. Despite obvious mechanical difficulties, it is technically possible for a Chihuahua and a Great Dane to mate. How did this happen? Where did dogs come from? How come there are so many different kinds of dogs? It's largely because of us humans. How did it all start? Dogs evolved from their wild ancestor, the gray wolf. In fact, modern dogs are still so closely related to the wolf that the two could interbreed and produce viable offspring. There are many theories that explain how we domesticated wolves. The most widely accepted is that this began when we formed relatively permanent camps. Wolves quickly learned that they could patrol the outskirts of our camps and feed off the scraps that we left behind. This relationship between wolves and humans proved mutually beneficial. The wolves got our food scraps and we got protection. As the wolves guarded their territory and protected their pups from predators, they protected us as well. Some wolves are more aggressive than others. To protect ourselves, we eliminated them. Over time, it was the tamer wolves that bred, as the aggressive ones disappeared. As they further evolved, they learned to interact with us and interpret our gestures, becoming more and more domesticated. Eventually, they helped us to hunt and work. Varied environments, locations, and activities contributed to the evolution of different forms of these early dogs. As we began to cross paths with other groups of ancestors, we traded our dogs. Dogs were becoming physically different from wolves. Sizes changed, ears became floppy, and coats became more colorful. Wondering why, Russian scientist Dmitry Belyev studied tameness in canines. He observed that as they became tamer, their levels of adrenaline decreased. Adrenaline is linked to the hormone melanin, the pigment that controls fur color. He also noticed that with decreased levels of adrenaline, there was a lot more tail wagging. Extensive selective breeding has only been around since the 1800s when affluent people started buying selectively bred dogs as status symbols. Breeders learned how to accelerate the natural pace of evolution by breeding early for certain desired characteristics. This process led to the wide array of breeds that we see today. In our zeal though, the closed gene pools that result from selective breeding can create certain health problems for dogs. Some of these problems can include breathing problems, atropic dermatitis, itching, hip dysplasia, hearing loss, diabetes, blindness, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, some of which can cause death. Today, there are over 400 recognized breeds and an extensive list of recognized combined breeds. Labradoodles, Schnoodles, Puggles, Yorkie Poos, Malty Poos, and Cockapoos. And of course, there are Mutts. They're all our faithful companions. They're our best friends. <laughs>